PLC. DCS. SCADA. There are different controlling techniques available depending on the types of process. Small process. Medium process. Large process. So, guys in this video we are going to discuss about these terms and will try to differentiate between them. First of all we will take a look about each term separately. PLC, PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, is a small industrial computer. That is used to process field parameters according to logic stored in PLC memory. PLC is ideal for single batch or high speed control, it is a relatively simple, low cost design, and are the core of the system. Their design is flexible and generic. PLC components are Power Supply CPU Input-Output Modules Programming Device DCS A Distributed Control System, DCS, is a specially designed automated control system. Used to control complex, large, and geographically distributed control elements over the plant or control area. DCS components are Engineering Workstation HMI PLC Communication System Intelligent Device SCADA, SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, is a control system architecture comprising computers, network data communications, and graphical user interfaces for high-level supervision of machines and processes. SCADA components are HMI PLC RTUs Supervisory System Communication Interface Confusion is still exist. What is the difference? So, now we are going to place a comparison between each system. PLC is a name of only hardware. DCS is a combination of Hardware, Visualization Software, Report, Historian. SCADA consists of Hardware, Visualization Software, Reports, Historian, Supervisory System. Data processing time of PLC is fast. Data processing time of DCS is slower. Data processing time of SCADA is fast. PLC could be used to small to large applications. Whereas DCS is normally used for large applications. SCADA is used for medium and large applications. PLC is cheaper, depending on the application size. DCS is expensive. But SCADA is less expensive than DCS. PLC is used for small-scale automation. DCS is used for large-scale automation. And SCADA is used for medium-scale automation. Initial cost is PLC is low compared to other. But cost of DCS implementation is highest. And SCADA implementation cost is higher than PLC but lower than DCS. PLC support multi-protocols. Whereas DCS support exclusive protocols. SCADA support open protocols. PLC is used only for fast real-time process. DCS systems is used for big, slow, and complex process. SCADA systems is used for big, fast, and complex process. A PLC is capable of handling few hundred inputs-outputs. A DCS can handle thousands of inputs-outputs. A SCADA system can also handle thousands of inputs-outputs. PLC can be programmed based on our application. DCS comes with built-in control functions that need to be configured based on the application. SCADA also comes with built-in control functions. PLCs are used to execute the saved instruction in its memory. DCS systems focused on process control. SCADA systems focused on data collection and analysis. PLC is best suited for dedicated applications that changes less often. DCS is suitable for complex processes that require advanced process control capability. SCADA is also suitable for complex processes. PLCs have a simple and flexible architecture. 
A PLC system consists of controllers, I.O. modules, HMIs, and an engineering software. DCS systems are less flexible. They come with controllers, I.O. systems, database servers, engineering, and operating servers. SCADA systems are more flexible than DCS. Basic communication structure is used in PLC. In DCS advance and complex communication is used with high-speed communication. Advance and more fast communication structure are used in SCADA. In PLC basic control strategies are implemented. Complex and more advanced control strategies are implemented in DCS. In SCADA complex control strategies are implemented. Downtime of PLC is only converging into loss of production. In DCS, downtime is very crucial because of massive dangerous situation will created and converging into losses of money and lives. Whereas downtime of SCADA is converging into loss of production, equipment failure, and create hazardous situations. PLCs can be made redundant with additional hardwares which makes them expensive than DCS. Redundancy is a default feature of distributed control system. Redundancy is also available in SCADA systems. In PLC, centralized controller is used for automation task. Whereas in DCS, dedicated solution providing for large and complex process industries. In SCADA, picks of software that integrate with multiple PLC and RTU for controlling and monitoring purposes. In PLC, Software used for programming provide by manufacturer companies. Software is provided by only DCS vendors company. FOSCADA multiple software vendors are available in market. PLC vendors are Siemens, ABB, Allen Bradley, Schneider, Modicon, and etc. DCS vendors are Yakagawa, ABB, Emerson, Rockwell Automation, Schneider, and etc. For SCADA, inductive automation, Rockwell automation, Siemens, Avava, and etc. vendors are available in market. So guys, I think you have got better understanding on PLC, DCS, and SCADA. For more informative videos, follow us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.